Yo, what is good dev guys? Welcome back. In this video, I want to show you guys how to set up the Elite Logger in a existing C++ project. Now, I just made a new Lyra project and I call it Elite Logger Setup underscore CPP. So it's pretty much the same steps here. We want to come into the plugin folder. We want to do a git bash here and we want to do a git clone and we want to paste the URL, which I hopefully still have in my, I do not have that in my copy buffer. What? Okay. So we want to navigate to the repository of where it's stored. Let me find it here. So yeah, we want to navigate to that repository. We want to copy this URL right here and do a git bash here and just say git clone and right click and paste that URL hit enter and then it's going to clone that into our project here and then we want to right click and generate these Visual Studio project files once that's done let's just right click and open this up in Rider or Visual Studio I'm going to stop saying or Visual Studio bro open it up in Rider or else no I'm playing, no, I'm playing. <laughs> don't pay attention to me once again once Rider catches its bearings it's going to ask you to install the plugin into the game folder just go ahead and do that okay once Rider is done doing its thing let you know that the plugin has been installed. So starting from a project that's already existing is a little bit different because you guys might already have a game instance set up and different things like that. So instead of in um, and it, it, it depends on the case, right? So for instance, if I go to Lyra's game instance, so let's go to system, look for the game instance, which is here. You can see their game instance derives from you common game instance. But if you have a game instance, maybe it derives from the uh, advanced sessions game instance, or maybe it just uh, derives from you game instance itself. Now, if it derives from you game instance itself, you can extend your game instance to derive from the U elite. Uh, and I have to actually include the, uh, so let me control Z this back. I actually have to include this into here. So let me do that first. So we need to include into our public dependency modules, the elite debugger or the elite logger. Sorry, it used to be called elite debugger. Uh, logger just felt easier to say. Um, and include it there and then come to the U project. And also let's just copy one of these brackets here and fuck it, we'll put it right here and say elite logger and enable to true. So that'll activate the plugin in the project. But yeah, what I was saying is that you can actually, um, if, you're, if your game instance just uses the base game instance class, you can actually just derive from my game instance, like um, I think it's elite debugger game instance. And this is going to tell me it needs to be added to the module, but I already did that. Uh, so yeah, just add this if you already derive from the basic uh, U game instance. But if you derive from U common game instance or U advanced sessions game instance or something that's custom, uh, you need to go to my plugin source file. So go to plugins, um, elite logger source, public core, uh, and I think it's in classes and go to this dot H and then press alt O to open up the CPP. And you pretty much just need to copy everything from this class over to your custom game instance class. So that's what we're going to do here. I'm going to just do it here in the bottom and uh, come on over to uh, the dot CPP and I'm going to copy this function as well. And I'm going to paste it in the dot CPP side of this game instance and it's going to give me some errors but that's because we're not using the right scope so just give it the scope of this class and then you need to include the um the blueprint user widget here so let me delete this so when you include that it includes this for the people who are using uh visual studio or visual studio code you need to include the blueprint slash user widget dot h and everything should be up, up and running for you. So let's go ahead and I'm going to hit run. Oh, I hit debug. Stop. I'm going to hit run because I'm not working in my project configuration where I have the debugging symbols and stuff. 
And once Lara finishes uh, doing this thing, go ahead and navigate to the game instance. And now we should have a variable over here for the uh, the debug widget, and we just want to pass it that elite logger widget and compile that. And we're not tracking any variables. Why is Control Shift F not working? Uh, so let me go to the simple pawn here and let me turn the tick on because by default this guy's not ticking and then on tick let's just uh, get the debug system and let's uh, track a float and reference self here Whoops, that is the geometry node itself. I don't know why that's the first thing. That should not be the first thing. And let's go ahead and get the velocity of this uh, actor and then get the length of that. Pass that in and we can say this is the actor velocity. And we compile that and we press play here see here show there we go okay maybe I just typed it in wrong so now if I hit full screen you can see that the actor's velocity 600 it goes down to zero goes up to 600 and that works as as intended so yeah that's pretty much how you would go about setting this plugin up in an existing project and if you guys have any questions, be sure to jump inside of the, uh-oh. Now that's chaos to brought, that's something completely different. Yeah, if you guys have any uh, questions about the plugin or any suggestions, jump in the Discord, uh, hop inside the forums and leave your thoughts for me. But yeah, that's all I got for you guys and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.